We are here at the Ibero Star Resort in Cozumel, Mexico. And so far, uh, it looks like there's a lot of activities and a lot of things to do. So we're going to take a minute and show you around to see if maybe this is a resort that you would like to stay at. This as, one's already waiting in line. As you're going around to resorts, there's animals all over the place, like I mentioned. Check out this right here. Yeah, and it's uh, right here at the entrance to the Asian restaurant. There is definitely a lot of wildlife at this resort and compared to some of the other resorts, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. Yeah, most of the others you just see iguanas and maybe the occasional little, what did she call them? Uh, Cotty, well. Co Kyoti? Oh Kyoti. man, I can't remember. I don't know. If you know what they are, you know what <laughs> we're talking about. Little raccoon looking creatures. Yeah. They're everywhere. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Kyotis? Kyotis. 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 I think that's what she said. Maybe. I'm sure we're saying it wrong. But Probably. They're everywhere around here. There's all kinds of wildlife. There's iguanas. There's, um, like we showed you here, there's peacocks. There's uh, flamingos. So if you're looking for a nice jungle themed resort, I would say mm -hmm. this would be a good place to come. Definitely has that feel. Yep. So what do you think of it so far? I think it's a beautiful property. It's um, very tropical feeling. Yeah. Um, really quiet. They're at 91% occupancy right now, but you definitely can't feel that until you try to get a chair. Right. by the pool or the beach but it's also like the middle of the afternoon so you know kind of late to the chair game right they don't have a, a lot of beach chairs in my opinion or pool chairs mm -hmm. for the amount of rooms that they have but it is a very spread out resort very mm -hmm. colorful yes i like that it's yeah. nice it's very it's got that fiesta feel that right. mexican culture feel um, so. there's three especially restaurants yeah. In the evenings that you can choose from. Mexican, uh, uh, Asian. Yes, and a smokehouse. And a smokehouse, okay. Mm -hmm. Which the smokehouse during the day is a buffet down by the pool area. Yeah. And then they have the regular buffet that rotates cuisines, they said. Yes, and that, that's open for breakfast and then it, it's also open for dinner. And at dinner it rotates like what cuisine they offer. Mm -hmm. And then there was the fun little like hamburger, hot dog, right. uh, nacho place. Oh, and soft serve ice cream down at the beach. Yes, when it comes to the beach, um, the beach is hard. The sand, you have a little bit of maybe a half an inch to an inch worth mm -hmm. of soft sand on top. And then it's just packed really hard. So yeah. I didn't really care for that a whole lot. It might uh, be a man-made beach. I'm not sure. It, it could be. And with the lack of chairs. Now, I don't know. I did not see any beach waiters. I don't know if they have them or not. We will find out. And I'll let you know right here. Yes, yes. or no? Let's go figure that out. Yes, we'll, we'll figure that okay. out and we'll let you know. I'll, like I said, I'll plug it in right here again <laughs> if they do or do not. I told you guys that I would find out a little bit more information about the beach waders. Well, I know I just put yes down below, but I felt that this required a little bit more explanation because there's something important that you should probably know. They told us that yes, there are beach waders. However, during the peak part of the day, they pull those from the beach area and help out with the pool because they said the pool gets a little overcrowded and they need more help. So they don't have enough staff, I guess, to supply both. So they pull the beach waders over to help out with the pool area. So if you are there for some reason and you start noticing that uh, there's less beach waders, go check out the pool area because they're probably over there. So the pool area, let's mm -hmm. talk about the pool because everybody wants to know about the pool. Okay, well, the first thing to know about the pool is there is a swim-up bar. That's what most people ask me about the pool. Yes, there is a pool. <laughs> uh, this is a family-friendly resort, so mm -hmm. they do have a kid's pool area that's more shallow. Mm -hmm. And then they have the adult pool section with the swim-up bar, of course. So there is plenty to do for everyone. There's not a lot of shaded chairs around the pool. So if it's in the middle of the day... And stick just fell off a tree like at, five foot here at Look, least it was not on us right right there <laughs> at least at least it didn't fall on our head or anything but anyway this came crashing down that was interesting <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're pool. I, the pool, pool area the pool has two sections to it too on the yeah. on the adult side there's two or not adult side but on the non-shallow side right. there's two sections where they kind of have one side that's a little quieter and one side that's a little more activities going on. They're not really separated by much except for the swim up bar, mm -hmm. but at least it's a separation. Right. The cat is stalking us in the jungle. I don't know. See the cat? Right there. Oh, yep, see? 
He thinks he's a panther. He wants to be. He wants he to be, up. yeah. When he grows up, he's gonna be a panther. So for the families out there, there's a kids club. Uh, it's actually just directly in front of us here. It's got um, activities and fun things for the kids to do from ages four to 12. And then there's also a little outdoor playground area that has um, just your typical playground equipment that parents can go to with the kids instead of just having to drop them at camp and leave them on their own. There you go. Now we're recording. Let's, <laughs> I forgot to push record a while ago. So, hey, uh, like our name, take two. <laughs> That's where I got it from. <laughs> Let's there's, talk about rooms. There's a reason. Yes, rooms. Rooms. So. I don't know how to say that. I wasn't really impressed, but we are kind of comparing this to other resorts that we've been to. The rooms are small. They're nice. Uh, there's not a lot of amenities to them. They don't have There's no room, room service. service. Yeah. Uh, they do open the buffet early in the morning, and they keep mm -hmm. it open until late into the evening. So really, you don't have food access when you're supposed to be asleep anyway. Right. But there is no convenience of room service here. Yeah, there's no room service. The The mini bar, you do have a mini bar in it. It gets stocked once a day. Mm -hmm. and that's typical. That's typical. There's not a lot of rooms. You have, this is a twin bed room that we're well, showing you here. It's two doubles. So you have this, you have a king size bed uh, as an option, and you have suites, mm -hmm. right? You have suites for the families. So anybody, four people or more, needs mm -hmm. a suite. So the only major difference is, other than the suites, from the room that we're showing you here is the bed configuration and the proximity to the beach. Yes. So the closer you get to the beach area, the more expensive your room will be. Mm -hmm. If you so, want a, a budget one, it's pretty far back. Right, so the, the premium room, that's your entry room category, that's what we're showing you. Um, that one is closer to the lobby. And then as you get closer to the pool or the beach, it's still a premium room, but it just adds the view into the price right uh, but the room itself is the same yeah so there's you know this is basically what you look at if you decide you do want a suite they have like two rooms where you can sleep up to i think what five is that six. what they said six mm -hmm. so there are as you get higher up in the suite areas you can sleep up to six if you want okay i'm going to go into travel agent mode on you for just a second here but let's talk logistics okay if your flight gets here prior to the 3 p.m checkout or check-in time or you leave way later than the 12 p.m. checkout, no worries. They have bell service. They will store your luggage for you. You just check in or check out, get your bracelet, explore the resort and continue to use the amenities until your room is ready or until your transfer is here to pick you up. We'll give you our overall impression. Our overall impression is they have a lot of stuff to do here. If you come, there's plenty of water activities. They're right outside a marina or a marine life thing. What do they call it? Uh, they're right by a coral reef and a marine coral park. Reef. Yes. So there is a tax if you go snorkeling. They told us about it. $6 right yeah, now. Yeah, because it's... they're right here by the marine park. Right. So if you get if you go snorkeling, you can get the equipment for free, but you do have to pay a tax because you're right by the marine park. Mm -hmm. Now, let's hold on. While you're talking about that, let's yeah. talk about scuba. Oh, okay. Scuba is huge here. Yes. Right? This is a major resort for diving, as is the whole island, really. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are coming for diving, this is a great option. They have the dive center on site, but they're also located close to the coral reef. They have the, the pier with the boats right here to pick you up, to take you out to do your dive. They'll teach you how to dive right here in the pool for free. Mm -hmm. So if diving is your thing, or you would like to see if diving is your thing, I think this is a good option. I do too, yeah. Mm -hmm. But overall, like I said, there is a lot of activities here for adults and for kids. Mm -hmm. It is a budget-friendly resort, so don't expect a five-star cuisine and everything. If you've been to a five-star resort, the amenities and stuff you can get there, but don't come in here thinking you'll be disappointed and there's nothing to do. We did see a lot of activities. Uh, they had, do have some good food options, and overall, I think it is a great option for a family that's looking to save a little money and wanting to experience uh, Mexico. Yeah, I would agree. We want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, and then we will see you on the next adventure.